What is math? What is math? <laughs> I'm just, just real math has nothing to do with one plus one, one times one, one divided by one, one minus one. These are just a bunch of non efficient numbers that these numbers are actually symbols, ancient symbols that inorganic beings put together to create a facade to make you think that you are learning something. Real math deals with frequencies and vibrations. Okay, this is how um, our ancestors were able to create light. And this was trillions of years ago. Those pictures you see on the different walls, they were they were not recent. They were not no five thousand or ten thousand or twelve thousand years. These are trillions of years ago. All right. So real math deals with frequencies and vibrations. Length times width times the height. All right. However long the frequency can travel times the width of the vibration gives you the height of the energy. I'll say that one more time. However long the frequency can travel times the width of the vibrations gives you the height of the energy. This is real mathematics. Okay? That's real mathematics. It has nothing to do with one plus one or Billy got on a train and he traveled and the train traveled X amount of miles per hour. How fast did he get? No, that's not math. That's just some non-essential mess. Something created in what you call a laboratory. All right. True math deals with science. And you must understand that these non-essential or non-indigenous beings have created so many different avenues to pull us away from real science. All right. If you look at the sun, that's math. If you look at the moon, that's math. All right. Frequencies. Vibrations. Create energy. That's real math. It's got nothing to do with one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Four times four is sixteen. No. No. Has nothing to do with this. Real math is learning frequencies and vibrations. All right. This is how we were able to create the laser energy weapons that we had. This is also how we were able to increase the powers in our bodies. Frequencies, vibrations equals energy. Real math. All right. Study yourself, study everything else. We knew that every metal gave off a different frequency and a vibration, all right? And the vibrational tone of the metal produce a radioactive energy. When you're talking about radioactive, you're talking about it has certain radio waves in it. This is radiation, this is radio waves that gives off. This is, this is true math, all right? Certain crystals have certain frequencies that give off certain um, um, vibrational energies. And these crystals also have radioactive waves. It's true math. True math deals with frequencies, vibrations, which creates energy. That is real math. Math is not X plus Y equals Z. That's craziness. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. And they're proud of 
this garbage that they're teaching. Well, if you have X and Y6, X plus Y6 equals what? That's craziness. It takes you away from real science. Because everything that our ancestors did was based on, everything that we created was based on frequencies and vibrations. We knew certain gases gave off certain certain vibration, vibrational energies, which means they created a frequency in which we then learn how to harness that gas and use that gas to create our machinery. All right? How do you think these, uh, what they call the extraterrestrial brothers, how do you think they, 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 they create the ships they create? And I'm getting the information of that where the secret should remain secret. All right? I'm not going no further on that. But the thing about it is, Real math is science. Real math is science. And the only way you're going to find real math is you start studying the frequencies and the vibrations of everything. The trees, the grass, the water, the wind. The wind, oh yes, the wind has frequencies and vibrations, believe it or not. That's why it's in existence. Real math does not deal with numbers that they call numbers, these numbers are ancient symbols. Real math, frequencies, and vibrations equals energy. Remember I talked about how far the frequency go and the width of the vibration creates the height of the energy. The height of the energy gives you the weight, okay? The height of the energy gives you the weight. This is how heavy this energy is. <laughs> This is real math. We're going to talk about this a little later. All right. Science 101. All right. You know, as usual, all power to the most sharp and celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. And I hope you guys study real math. <laughs>